sequence and counting. We are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. Go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Scart. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 17 seconds and counting. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Go for main engine start. Main engine start. 2, 1, booster ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Discovery, the space shuttle begins the journey back into orbit. Discovery completes its roll. The shuttle now heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute wind of orbit. This view from a camera on the external tank's liquid oxygen feed line showing the bird's eye view of Discovery as it races towards space, a star spangled start to Discovery's mission. Discovery's three liquid fuel main engines now throttle back to 67% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Discovery already three and a half miles in altitude, one and a half miles downrange, traveling almost 750 miles an hour. Everything looking good on the bird. 57 seconds into the flight, engines beginning to rev up. Standing by for the throttle-up call from Capcom, Steve Frick. Discovery Houston, go at throttle-up. Roger, go at throttle-up, jump USF only. The throttle-up call acknowledged by Commander Steve Lindsay. And Discovery Houston, it's expected day to hit Citadel clear shortly. Copy. Lindsay joined on the flight deck by pilot Mark Kelly, flight engineer Lisa Nowak, and mission specialist Mike Fossum. Mission specialists Pierce Sellers, Stephanie Wilson, and Tomas Ryder of the European Space Agency down on the mid-deck. Ryder headed for six months on the International Space Station. One minute, 47 seconds into the flight, 22 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange, traveling 2,600 miles an hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. Discovery's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to swivel, aiming the shuttle for its precise target in space for main engine cutoff. And we should have a good forward leg now on s -Bend. That will be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. The booster officer reports that we have main engine cutoff standing by for external tank separation. External tank separation confirmed. Commander Steve Lindsay now maneuvering Discovery to the correct orientation so that video and digital stills of the external tank can be captured by cameras embedded in the shuttle's umbilical well. A smooth ride to orbit for the shuttle Discovery embarking on what is expected to be a 13-day mission. In a couple of minutes, astronauts Mike Fossum and Stephanie Wilson will begin several minutes of video documentation. Speed 5,500 miles an hour, 7 miles altitude. 68 miles to the runway. Correction, 22 miles to the runway.
Discovery now, three minutes to touchdown. Pilot Mark Kelly taking a turn at the stick. Speed, 500 miles an hour. Altitude, five miles. 17 miles to the runway. Discovery Houston on at the 180. Roger. Discovery on target at the 180 mark of the hitting alignment circle. Commander Steve Lindsay back in control. Three good auxiliary power units. Both air data probes deployed. Speed, 450 miles. Discover Houston on at the 90. Roger. Discovery on track at the 90 degree mark of the heading alignment circle. Altitude 15,000 feet. Speed 420 miles an hour. Nine miles and a minute and a half to touchdown. Again, this is a view out the heads-up display. Copy, field in sight. Commander Steve Lindsay reports he has the landing field in sight. Speed, 309 miles an hour. Altitude, 6,300 feet. Four point five miles to the runway. All systems looking good as Discovery comes in for a landing. Thirty seconds to touchdown. Your touchdown. Discovery's crew completing a 5.3 million mile mission to restore the International Space Station to an assembly ready status and prov proving that they can use a 50 foot long boom as a heat shield repair platform. on a uh, great mission, expanding our knowledge and experience with orbiter repair and bringing the space station back to a full crew complement. We have no immediate deltas to post landing and we'll meet you on page 5-3. Thanks, it was a great mission, uh, a really great mission and uh, enjoyed the entry and the landing and we're uh, going over to 5-3 now.